My name is Charles Michael Yunker. I highest rank in the Navy was Raiderman Second Class E5. Later I served uh, in the Kansas National Guard and attained the rank of E6. I remember going through I went through a typhoon on the Yorktown, went through a typhoon on the Lloyd Thomas. And uh, neither one was fun. Uh, we started hitting a bunch of troughs on the Yorktown one night. And we had water coming up over the bow. And maybe a fourth of the way down the, the flight deck, we had a couple of them. When our first or second night off the coast of North Korea, it, it rained, it sleeted or snowed every day. And they had us up on the 011 level looking out through some old gun sights with very thick plexiglass on it as low visibility lookouts because there's no way that anybody could be on. Our normal lookout station was on the 07 level and it was just too cold to be there so they set us up on the 011 level which was 07 level was outside, 011 was inside and it was so darn ridiculous but using binoculars we could barely see the 10 the number is 10 on the flight deck at the end, edge of the flight deck because the weather was so bad. Like, what are we doing here? And the, it's, I'm being critical that it's just, I'm sure there was a reason, I just do not understand why. After a while, we were, as I said, we were anti submarine warfare, so we we're. Uh, flying those type of planes on or off the flight deck. And uh, the poor guys on the flight deck were out there chipping ice off the flight deck constantly. And when you're a sailor, you get to you develop a dark sense of humor. I was aft lookout on the 07 level one night, talking to the forward lookout on the 07 level. We were taking bets on. They were playing flying touch and goes, meaning that they would, the flight of a plane would land, hit the arresting gear, and then go off up and be launched again. They're just practicing in the middle of a, a sleet storm, and we were taking bets on which plane would come the closest to sliding off the side of the ship because it hit the arresting gear and it just starts sliding to the port side of the ship. I felt so sorry for those pilots. Their sphincter muscles had to be tighter than anything. And I remember one day, there, uh, you know, we were also, well, the entire time we were there, we were shouted by a Russian trawler. And of course the word went out, hey, there's a woman on that Russian trawler. I got a good look at her one day. It's like, <laughs> whoa. They put me on low visibility lookouts one afternoon, which meant I was on the starboard catwalk up on the bow. And the flight deck was like here. And I'm right below it, and I'm looking down, and there's uh, sea snakes that it looked like somebody went into a butcher shop and just took all the sausages and threw them on the floor. They just, if there was one, there were 40 of these dang sea snakes just floating in the water. And that was kind of sobering thought. Do not want to go overboard. Um, that's one of the days when it was actually got up to around 13 degrees below zero. My Older brother's ship, we left, the Yorktown left, and my older brother's ship came up to the siege pan shortly thereafter. And in 19, 
January of 1979, we had a blizzard or big snowstorm in western Kansas where I'm from. Now, give them a little bit of backdrop. My older brother worked at an ice cream company that my dad worked at, and I worked there all part time. And you're talking about two guys, my brother and myself, who would go into the what called a hardened room where they put the new ice cream to freeze it. And it was normally 25 to 30 degrees below zero in there. And we'd spend a half hour in there, t shirts stacking the ice cream before we really got too cold and went out to take a break. So we're used to the cold. My older brother and I delivered in newspapers in a damn blizzard once. So we're, we knew what cold weather was like. But in January 1970, we had this big snowstorm and I went over and stopped at my brother's house, knocked on his door, he opened it up and I came in and I sat down, he sat down, you know, the table was cold out there, and both of us at the same time, but not as cold as the siege pan. That both, that room, both of us, it was so cold because of the water, being over the water, plus the wind and everything else, it was, it was miserable there.